know about this figure? Um, it's called a pentagon. It, is um, called it has five faces. <laughs> it has five quarters. Yeah, really nice. Anything else to say about this shape? Hmm. It is a polygon. Could you, could you tell us what a polygon is? Uh, that's a little harder, but. Like a figure that's kind of closed up in its mm -hmm. Yeah, The sides have to be straight, so it can't be a circle. Yeah, close. The question here says, what do we call the measurement of the space where the two edges of this square meet? So I'm talking about the two edges, and there's a little symbol there and an oh. arrow pointing to the area that I'm talking about. So Samir, do you think you know what you call right that? Angle. Okay, so you can call it a right angle. Well, there's 360 degrees, and um, like if you if it was a circle, 90 degrees is a quarter of 360 degrees. If it's less than a right angle, it's a cute, and if it's more than a <laughs> okay. Um, if it's if it's larger than 90 degrees, it's obtuse. It's called obtuse. Good. Your task is to go back to your table and work with your partner to determine the exact measurement of each of the angles of each pattern block. So, what tool do you think you need to do that? Oh, oh. <clears throat> I think it's called a protractor. A protractor. Yes. Oh. Right, that would absolutely make your task much easier. But we're not giving you a protractor. Oh. 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 Yeah. The only thing that we are giving you is these pattern blocks. It's like, if you turn it, it's diagonal. Oh. 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 Di uh, diamond. So, um, that would mean that you would have to give another, you, um, add another half of a square and put it to here. And that would make four, uh, 90 plus 45 would be 135. So this would be 135. So you've just made a discovery. So this hold it here so Martin can see. One of these is half of a square. How many? A third. No, it's a third. No, because there's. Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so you guys are set now. <laughs> 120. That's right, that one has all the two angles. Yeah. So, and then this was at a 120, right? Yeah. Yeah. And this was the hexagon. Uh, this well, it was really easy. Um, so if we were to do this with another group, what might be some feedback that you would give? What were some of the challenges that you really had to uh, overcome? Vida? To start. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Was so we had no, we didn't know where we were supposed to start, what we were going to do. It was just like, here's some huey thingies. <laughs> No protractors. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks. So we knew that um, a triangle was 60 degrees. So um, uh, a, a skinny rhombus was 30 degrees. Well, we kind of put three rhombuses like the edge together, and then that made it a right angle. Ah. And then so we just said. Okay, so something three times makes 90. So three of the cute angles on the skinny rhombus make a right angle, and because we all knew that a right angle was 90. The, the easiest shape for us that we took from was the hexagon, because okay. we first measured that because we knew this is half of a hexagon, and then the diamond is the same thing. And then that is half of that. So we just sort of went from the biggest shape and went down. Yeah. The easy shape that we used was the skinny rhombus because we knew that it was 
was going to be 30, so it, it was kind of, um, it kind of helped us because then we kind of put them together and like three of them, and it would be um, 90, and then we would go to the right angles of the different shapes to see what it was. We put the square into the, like, the top half of the Right about here? Yeah. And then we took a, um, a skinny rhombus and put it right beside the square. And then I figured that um, three skinny rhombuses could fit into a square. And um, three times three is nine. Mm -hmm. So that means the extra part had to be 30. So that was in one place. The clock back there, we used it because a right angle is 12, it's 12 and 3. Or 12 and 9. So or, yeah, or 12 and 9. From 12 to 3, or 12 to 9, depending on the way you go. Yeah. So then we figured out here that the hexagon, one of the angles, is 12 and 4. Um, so then what we did from there is we were having a lot of trouble on finding out what that was. So then Nora... Um, so I, so then the idea came up, and we thought that we could that we the whole thing is 360. So if we divide 360 by 12, that would be what each number was, and we'd go up or go down. So we did that. So we did 365 by 12, and we got 30. So then from there we added. Um, 30 to 90, we got 120. Then we got from there, we did the 120 um, here. And then we did the same technique for every single one. Mm. What kind of a, a hint, or what you might tell somebody if they were going to do this lesson maybe tomorrow, <laughs> but what you could tell them without giving it away. What advice would you give them about this challenge? Oh. Preston? Start with the square. Yep, start with That's the square. Right. Okay. <laughs> start with what you know. Okay, thank you so much.